Good morning, this is Diane Cisneros, and it is Saturday, February 2nd, Groundhog's Day. Uh, last evening I made this card, and it may look familiar to you. Uh, it is pictured in our spring catalog. And I'm going to show it to you on page 7. Right here. And the reason I chose to do that card is because of the dry embossing, which is going to allow me to go ahead and use the new score plate that's also in this book. The Friends up here is from this amazing family set. And uh, let me show you the score plate on page 26 or 27 right here. Here it is. It is Borders Scoring Plate. And I haven't used it yet, uh, so I thought this would be a great card to do. So I'm going to take a Calypso Coral card base, eight and a half by five and a half, and then my the the piece of paper that I'm going to be working with is Whisper White, and this is four by five and a quarter, which will fit perfectly on the front. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my score, score tool. There's an overlay which can be used as a guide. It lines up with all the uh, grooves underneath. And it, it just allows you to follow along. And I prefer on this particular piece of paper, um, because I'm going to put it through several times, and then I have to keep moving the guide, so... I'm going to try to do this without it. Now you need to um, write these measurements down. I want these lines to go this way. So I'm going to line it up at half an inch right here. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit for you. Okay, half an inch right there. And then I've got my little guides set at three quarter inch, one and a half, and two and a quarter. I'm going to use the smallest end of my stylist, and the little trick is, um, after you've used this a while on your paper, it kind of uh, is hard. It just is hard to run across the paper. Uh, so I just kind of rub it with uh, wax paper, and it just gives it, makes it glide. Okay. And I'm using the smallest tip, so I'm going right here, and I'm going to feel where these end. I can feel it. And I also found that by doing it this way, I get a, a better um, <clears throat> I get more pressure. So I'm going to move this at the half inch point I'm going to move the whole plate over to that first mark, three quarter, and I'm going to leave it at a half inch, and I'm going to go again. And I can see right below where we're going to stop and go. I just had my coffee, so my hands are shaking. Um, okay, one and a half is here. I'm going to put it back at the half inch and start again. Very easy. I tried it with the guide, and um, I don't know. I just I think it needs practice. I need practice with the guide. This then now I'm moving it at two and a quarter. Back at half inch. And these measurements will make sure that these lines are the same distance apart. Okay. Oh my phone. Okay, so you see what we have. I think this is so cool. And now all I did 
to make the card was to uh, draw a line from side to side. You can see that line right there. I haven't erased it yet. And then I'm going to stamp friend, 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 and put a button up there. And then I used uh, this tool with the markers to kind of splatter it. So I'm not going to make the whole card for you. Uh, what I was demonstrating today is this uh, Borders Scoring Plate. Very cool. So give it a try, and I will be seeing you soon. Thanks for stopping okay. by.